ISIS is a shadow of its former self, degraded from menace to nuisance. But the brutality inflicted by the terror group has not been forgotten. And there has been little sympathy or political will to help Canadians who joined ISIS make their way home. That changed Tuesday after weeks of secret negotiations when the Canadian government took custody of two Canadian women, Kimberly Pullman and Umaima Shwe, as well as Shwe's children in northeast Syria. A dramatic change from the government's previous position of refusing to help Canadians get out of the camps. Hours after the women left Syria, another first. Last night, RCMP officers arrested Umaima Shwe at the Montreal Trudeau Airport. Both women were charged with terrorism offences when they landed in Canada. Another major shift in what the RCMP had long said was not possible, gathering enough evidence from Syria to lay charges in Canada. In Syria, it is alleged that she participated in terrorist activities in the name of the Islamic State. Shwe faced terrorism charges in a Quebec courtroom, while Pullman has been put under a terrorism bond in B.C. Both women suffered from health problems which made them eligible under a new policy adopted by the government in 2021. But Pullman's lawyer said many Canadians in the detention camps are in the same situation and it's time to bring more home as several other allied countries have. It demonstrates once again that the uh, Canadian government is capable and uh, without incident able to uh, repatriate our Canadian citizens there. The government has been under increasing pressure by human rights groups, the United Nations and the NDP to bring home Canadians, especially young children. These are Canadian children living in abhorrent conditions. Their lives are at risk and they are children. The Liberal government would not say if these cases are the beginning of bringing home all Canadians, but hinted they have a roadmap now. We continue to engage responsibly in the region, uh, monitor closely. We have a framework uh, around doing this. We've seen uh, a couple of situations already, but it's important that people who travel for the purpose of, su of supporting terrorism uh, face consequences. The 2021 policy for those with health conditions and the RCMP's ability to now lay charges may be a game changer for the government, but just how much political risk Justin Trudeau is willing to take remains to be seen. Eric? Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa. Thank you.